are in the vehicle design playroom. When you're here, you absorb a lot from different departments, and that's the great thing about being at the Royal College. This is the first stage of making all of my pieces. So this is about just getting it as absolutely as smooth as possible, um, so that when you cast it in the plaster and then subsequently in the resin, you get a better kind of understanding in terms of shape. We're nearing the end here, so it has to be very quick. <laughs> The heels um, clear her specs. Um, that was the sort of the, the thinking behind that was so that it would sort of disappear as you look through the shoe. But I've actually um, been collaborating with another student here, Lily Camper, in uh, mixed media. Because she'd been working on dip dyeing her specs as a part of her um, final collection, and we've been collaborating to kind of use some of her ideas in the heels that I had been using before and create sort of really interesting. Um, faded effects in certain parts of the heel and sort of add to, it, it was a real connection with some of the leather techniques I was using that had a lot of movement or texture in them and the dip dyeing sort of really lends itself to that. 40% of the collection is now ready, but I'm doing like the same things, like trousers for instance, I'm making like four or five at, at the same time and I'm planning to finish everything at once. I do talk a lot with like design product students and their way of thinking is quite like artistic and at the same time like at the end they need to make a product. Also they focus on one product so I, I really like the quality of it so they sometimes like use leather or fabric and for light for instance for chair or for like eyewear or whatever. So I try to yeah just some conversation to probably find something new. I think like I, I always really, really enjoy the making stage because it's where 2D becomes 3D. Especially with my knits quite spontaneous, I never really know what it's going to look like when I actually make it. I've been very focused on getting all the hand knits done because it takes a lot of time. Uh, and to get that over it in the beginning because it's like, it's time consuming but also brain consuming in a way. I think the further we get on and the closer we get to the show, we're going to have even more to think about. Which I made like a calculation or like an overview of it, and I have 32 pieces. So I still have, I don't know, <laughs> so many pieces to make. In the next four and a half weeks, it's just going to be making, making, making. It's going to be really technical. It gets to a point where you've been preparing for so long and then all of a sudden it just comes together and you see these finished product, products and it's kind of magical in a way when you've been working on it for so long and it's been just like sketches on paper for so long. If everything turned out exactly like you wanted it to, you'd never be curious to see it. You'd be, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be, you know, you'd lose interest after you'd sketch it because you know exactly what it is and I mean, there's still sort of like a curiosity when you make it and you're excited to see how it turns out and if it works and all that stuff. Um, it's a very exciting time generally and despite the stress and the pressures that are constantly around us, I think the most important thing is to actually enjoy what we're doing because we're not going to get this opportunity again. In, you know, deal with the stress, deal with the pressure, but enjoy what you're doing as well because it's your, it's your baby, it's your creation.